Be seated. Now I want you to remember, we did not ask to come to the Great Lakes areas of North America. We were taken from our homes and brought here in water on board freight ships from Europe, moving products to support international trade and the economies of the very people now trying to turn us into the enemy. We did what any self-respecting species would do when forcibly displaced. Try and survive. Indeed, thrive! And know that our future generations will multiply and spread throughout this land and make these beautiful lakes our own. Now these humans question our right to spread our species as far and wide as our destiny allows. <laughs> Why do people not like us? Some complain we clog their fishing rods and prevent fish from being landed. Boo hoo. But the more serious threat they say is hurting the fisheries themselves. We spiny water fleas eat the same small animals, or zooplankton, that are important sources of food for smaller native fishes. We are voracious eaters, and the human science finds we cause a decline of the fish's food supply and can reduce the number of smaller fish, which are in turn food for larger game fish. The small animals we eat are also grazers that eat the algae, so when we eat them, there's more algae in the lakes, making the water greener and less clear. But we spiny water fleas need to eat, don't we? These are the humans' problems, not ours. And why don't the fish eat us? Look at this magnificent spiked tail. Smaller fish can't eat us as we get caught in their mouths and throats. They cough, cough, cough us up, and we soldier on. In fact, the smaller predators around here can't stomach us. So our populations grow quickly, and we eat as much of the fish's food as we can. Thank you, Mother Nature. Humans want to stop our spread. But I am here today to tell you, I myself have full confidence that if you spiny water fleas do your duty, we shall continue to spread, as we have always spread. We are too small for them to easily see us with the naked eye. We shall use this to our advantage. If they do not see us, they do not think we are there. We spiny water fleas are stealthy and strong. American boaters love their lakes and they love to fish. With so many beautiful lakes to choose from, they can't help but try their luck at more than one, thereby moving water, plants, and mud from lake to lake. These are our opportunities to fulfill our species' destiny and colonize these new lakes and make them our rightful homes. Even though humans may try to stop us, we shall not flag or fail. We shall spread via their bilge waters. We shall spread via their live wells, bait buckets, and coolers. We shall spread on their muddy, unclean anchors. We shall spread, we shall spread, we shall spread! We shall never surrender. And if we outsmart these boaters, as I know we can, all the lakes will be ours and part of our forever expanding manifest destiny! Hi, spiny water fleas. We should be everywhere and eat as much as we can. Forget the fish and the fishermen. We'll eat all the little fish's food. We'll get caught in the little fish's mouths with our spiked tails. <laughs> There'll be more algae in the water. Green water, green water. <laughs> We shall spread via their bilge water and on their muddy, unclean anchors. Boaters, we can stop the spiny water fleas from invading your local lakes. Join others in protecting the lakes we love by following these simple steps. Remove all the plants from your boat and trailer. Drain your cooler and don't move lake water in your bait bucket from one lake to another. Drain the water out of your boats and bilges. Let everything dry and make sure all the mud is off your anchor. That mud can contain loads of eggs that can hatch in a new lake. Thank you for doing your part to stop spiny water fleas from invading our lakes.
Please don't spread the spiny water, fleas. We can do it now. Here's how. Clean equipment lines and reels. Go to all the people, see how they feel now. Taking up the plankton, oh, all their mistakes are taking up the fish we supply. Oh, wow. So clean your bilge, live well.